Hello, my fellow feeble-minded forks. I'm Mr. Church. Today we're going to be building uh, kind of two bases, two camps in one spot. We're going to be building uh, right here on top of this existing structure, uh, which uh, I put the camp node right here. Am I sure I want to place camp number 13? Uh, no, I actually didn't need to put that down. That's 40 caps I'll never see again. We're right here near the rusty pick, that thing, and also abandoned mine site, Kittery Billy Billy, which jiggles incessantly when load bearing pops off. Uh, today we're going to be building, there's this existing structure here. We're actually going to be building underneath it, and then we're going to be building another thing on top of it to kind of disguise it. Kind of like a hidden area. So we're going to be building something really clean underneath it, and then we're going to kind of hide it with a, with a scrappy camp above it. And that's why this video is so fucking long, and I do apologize ahead of time. That's a long time to listen to me prattling on. In fact, you're going to probably need to uh, uh, schedule that therapy appointment in advance so that you can just hop on, on over there once this is done. And by the time you they are able to see you, this video will almost be wrapped up. So it'll be perfect. And by the way, if you hate what you're seeing right now, Hit that like button sarcastically, I'm sure I'll get the message. Now, I never tell people to hit the like button, of course, because that's something that fills me with rage when I see someone do that. I was enjoying the video up until that point, thank you so much for ruining it. Because I liked the video, I just don't like you telling me to hit the like button, you know, because that's I hate that thing. It's a thumb. Every time someone uses a thumbs up emoji, it always means they're mad. It doesn't matter what they say otherwise. That means anger. That's the most passive-aggressive emoji in the entire alphabet. So don't use it on my video. Please, I beg you. Now, as you can see, we made this sinky thing so that we could get underneath the map. And uh, it's kind of like how I'm getting underneath your skin right now, only it's a little more helpful because we're going to be able to uh, build inside underneath as you can see there's a chunk of dirt if you're getting stuck in that just sink the alien bed down further and uh, what we're going to be doing is building a temporary floor with upper floors underneath the structure it doesn't matter if they're sideways or backwards or if they smell like paprika because you're just going to be putting them there temporarily and then you're going to get rid of them this is just to make sure that the walls will line up which they sure the fuck don't in this first attempt but i'm just going to be placing them down to show you kind of how it goes now you're going to be wanting to make sure it's up and down the right amount which i have done here but it's obviously over to the side so much that there's a massive gap and uh, some of the walls won't be placeable uh, in the front you'll see there's a gap in the side i can't put anything over there and if i don't slow down i'm gonna run out of oxygen before this is over i also saw while i was building way down there there's a catwalk that i didn't build and uh it's not even in the camp zone i tried entering the camp zone and that's why i keep changing the view here uh, but yeah, I don't know why this is here, and I think after I relogged, it was gone. There's a mess up there. Don't worry about any of that stuff. The catwalk, don't worry about that. We're not at that step yet. Calm down. Let's take a breather and uh, maybe meditate. Practice some of that Buddhism that you picked up because you were searching for ways to calm your anxiety and nothing else worked. Now, what we're going to be doing is uh, trying to fill stuff into these holes, and it doesn't work. Let's get rid of these. This is all temporary structure and the floor as well you're just going to keep doing this over and over again because i don't know what could be more fun than that except maybe deep frying your hand or putting glass inside your eyelids and blinking rapidly uh, but what you can do is uh, you can move these over slightly and that's too much uh, so move that back a little bit you're just kind of trying to line these two foundations up here that's just so i can see if it's centered uh, between those two uh, eye beams and uh, then you can come back down here get, get stuck in that dirt chunk again and then um, put another temporary floor and you're just going to keep doing that until you have it the way you want it you're going to want to test each time if it's up and down the right amount and if it's over the right amount so this is pretty good here and then i'm going to show you what you do after you have it in place don't worry about the walls that can't go in yet we'll worry about that later the main thing is getting it lined up good 
And then I'm going to show you uh, what you do when you have that lined up the way you want it. Now take these catwalks instead of an upper floor and you get the elbow piece. You can, of course, look away from where you're building and shove outwards to make it go away from you in instead of in case you can't walk forward. Use a full piece and then do another quarter elbow quarter trick to get that turned off to the side facing out the back of the structure. From there, you're gonna be able to place down a staircase going off into the void, uh, kind of like your future is now that you mention it, sitting there drooling and trying to build in Fallout 76. And uh, then you you can just delete the catwalk, ooh, careful, right here. And uh, you can stand on these catwalks while you build. Now for this specific footage here, uh, don't worry about it if it looks like it's crooked and not lined up. I actually went back in to re-record this part of it, so I didn't worry about it being lined up. This isn't the actual placement of my camp, but this is what you do during this step. So once everything is lined up, then you go to this step. Uh, so if, if it looks crooked and stuff during this moment, uh, don't worry about that. It all will be resolved. Anyway, be very careful when you're snapping these in because uh, there's no actual legitimate support, which means once they're there, they're locked in. If you need to change anything or delete them, instead of this, the catwalks you're standing on, get rid of those, replace them with an upper floor, which will go back to the legitimate foundation above ground. You can work backwards like you did when you were testing out the area and uh, redo the catwalk step. Um, but be careful and you won't have to do that. Make sure everything's lined up so that no matter what floor you use, all the patterns will line up. So this part doesn't, and then you can get just get rid of the catwalks. At that point, you're gonna put the walls in. Again, I, I said, things might not look like they're lined up. That's just to show you this right here. If you get to this corner and you can't put a half wall in, you can place a triangle wall and switch it and it'll go over to the side, which is ugly. And then after that, you can of course put the upside down poopy bit and you can change it uh, to one where there's no trim on it. So it'll look like just one continuous half wall piece if you pick the right ones. So that's a good way of getting around that chunk in the corner there. And right now we're gonna make a blueprint. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Just uh, blueprint these three items right there. If you need a little bit more of an explanation, I'll leave a link to a video where I go over a bunch of helpful blueprints and that one is surely in there. And then use uh, predictive text to name the blueprint so you can find it easier later and uh, then delete this shit, or actually store it. Don't waste resources, there's a war on. And uh, then you can place this up against the walls that you can't get the walls in because of the pillars. You can use these to shove them up against those edge as far as you can go. And uh, it's, it's a little crooked, but I'll redo that one uh, when I'm not filming. Uh, I just can't build when you guys are watching me, you're ruining. Uh, my concentration, I feel so much pressure, you know, and it's not the pressure of the constipation. I have, of course, been trying out that prune juice and it really did help like the doctor said it would. Of course, uh, yes, I could think before I speak and that would make things a lot better, um, but who has time for that in today's economy? You will be able to snap upper uh, walls to those areas and uh, right here, I wasn't able to get a piece in. So I was like, well, no worries, I'll just use the pillar trick again. So then I did the, you know, the little archway thing, stuck it in there. Um, and then, of course, I can just, you know, flip it and then put the upside down piece in there, right? Because that box outside isn't going to, oh, it will, okay. Well, then that means we can't do that for right here. Um, or right there, because the pillar is also blocking that. No, no worries, we'll just delete this. Oh yeah, you can't unless you burn the bottom. Okay, well, just go into your uh, turrets and uh, just get your flamer trap out, which I didn't do the, I didn't unlock this yet. I can't uh, burn that, so I can't delete it. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, that wasn't, that didn't end as well as I hoped it would. 
um, well, damn. Now, actually, I did see someone, and I used emojis to make him come to my camp and built this uh, sign for him. I communicated with these signs. And he did stand there long enough for me to throw the letters together, but I could barely spell. And then he put these down for me and saved the day. Shout out to Bobo Player and his flame traps. This cough is for you. <coughs> I actually had to cough, so um, just take it. That's all you get. And uh, thank you for that. And the big trap here was thinking that you would be compensated for helping me instead of just getting coughed at on live TV. Well, at least now we can burn the bottoms of these and get rid of the walls we don't need anymore, like this one. And uh, doesn't it kind of remind you of uh, how your family treats you? Oh, well, what? anyway, get rid of that. And then at this point, I also realized, oh, those old walls that I tried to put in earlier are still back there. So I make sure that those aren't there. Delete that. That's uh, wasting budget. And uh, delete all that shit, if you did that. Uh, you might just skip that step and just use the blueprints to shove against a problematic wall instead of just leaving walls back there for no reason. I could try to make up a reason why I did that, but it's just because I'm stupid. And then you're going to take your blueprint, and this time we're going to pull it out some. And I'm go I'm not going to worry about there being a big chunk in the wall because I'm going to have uh, one of the sides will be glass, and then that one will have a, a full uh, thing. I don't know. You'll see. It'll make more sense at that point. Now, I spent about an hour trying to find different things that I could sink through the floor and nothing would, but I finally found this chair that would, so I sunk it down on the pressure plate on the rug, and then I was able to use that to place it in here. The only question is, can my character actually interact with it from downstairs? We need a way to get up, because we have this to get in. Uh, if we can, that would solve a lot of issues, and it wouldn't ruin the look of the build. And it looks like we can interact with it, and we can use it. All right, we actually can get out of here. That's great. What a good use of my time. Uh, sure. Now, I, I put in a second one of these. Uh, that one is sunk down on a conduit upstairs, which is a lot more secretive than the cappy rug. But I left the old one in while I place this, just in case something gets stuck and I can come back down. I, I merged some shelves and shoved them in there. They actually um, went in really nice. It looks like one big chunk of wood. I don't even think I needed to burn them to get them all in like that. Uh, but now you're going to burn them for a moment because I'm going to add a little bit of steps there. And what I did was I blueprinted this so I can just place it like this, stacking them so that they'll be stacked perfectly. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to shove it inside this burn structure, but I'm going to shove it like this so that um, the edges of the elbow pieces are just barely sticking out of the side of that and uh, just throw that in there just like the towel of your relationship uh, what now go to the conduits find the elbow piece snapping on and you can snap these right to that and then the nice thing about conduits is they will float alone for no reason. So what you can just go ahead and do is grab the bottom of this this stack, and all that will move right out of there, and you'll have these little uh, steps to get in there. Now I did realize that I forgot to show um, how I put that wall in there because it's not directly in the center of the building. So what I'm what I did simply was I put a half wall in and. Uh, Right, right in the center of the floor. That's not exactly the right way because it's accidentally backwards, but I put it in facing this way. Uh, hello? Just go where I say, please. And then put a quarter catwalk there, and then you can just snap downward like that, and then you can put the other wall right on top of it right there, and then you can get rid of that one, and then you have a nice little wall there. I'm keeping that uh, as an oh shit in case I lock something up in there, building in there, because I might not be able to ex uh, access the alien stasis chamber if I put too much stuff near it, and I don't want to be able to, like, not be able to go down there. I'm not sure uh, who first originated this idea, but I'll link in the description uh, where I first saw it. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to put... This is just to make, like, little... Uh, like a blueprint for wall... Uh, decor so that you can have 
the back facing you. And so what you're going to do is put two of them down on the, like a, the same item uh, in the same orientation on that item so you can line them up easier. Then use this camp module, which will do the reverse merge with them. And it'll pop that up into the air, so pop them up the same amount. And try to place it on the exact same place on the camp module because it will sync different uh, increments depending on where you place it on there. Then you're just going to shove it into the other one as close as you can get it and as uh, like flat as you can get it. And then you'll be able to uh, just blueprint the two chunkies together and it'll allow you to place that just these two items, just this and the other one. And that'll allow you to just place it up against the wall. And uh, it's gonna, we're gonna use this a couple of times in this build. So if you need to come back to this point and see it again, um, it's pretty simple actually, but it's really nice. It opens up a lot of possibilities. There's so many, so many like interesting designs on the backs of a lot of these uh, wall items that we have. Now, right now, uh, I'm going to show real quick uh, the camera mod, the camera mode or the free camera or whatever does not like to be under the map. It shoves you all over the place, uh, shoves you around everywhere. As you can see, it's not holding still for a second, but it is allowing me to go in there in this little cubby behind where we have this thingy and add a generator and conduit and hook it up, which is nice. Uh, I did get sick doing that. Um, but it was worth it in the end. Now I sunk down two communist military safes into washing machines and Then I placed them side by side on this rug and Actually, I, I sunk the uh, The washing machines onto the safes is the order I did it in and then I put them on the rug so that the rug was holding them up and then I sunk them both down into the rug to get the the wheels holding that up um, out of the way and uh, once you get to a certain point, you're going to have to switch the floor to the mesh floor so that you can keep sinking them down. They're not going to, because it'll intersect with a normal floor. Uh, I first, uh, I got the idea to use those safes as cabinetry from Vapid Valentine. And I'll link the video that I got the inspiration from in the description as well. Uh, opening up the back wall will allow you to shove that carpet out the back of it. And uh, you can see down there, I have catwalks down there to stand on as well, just in case I want to hang out there and, uh, you know, smoke and get cancer as well. And then here we have uh, display cases from those Nuka, Nuka, Nuka display thingies. I wanted to make a fridge. Uh, this is an optional part. This one was really a bitch to do and you don't have to do it at all if you don't even like how it looks in the end. Uh, but what you're going to do is put one forwards and one backwards on the spike trap. Uh, what we're going to do is merge the milk machine into this. And the easiest way of doing that was, in my opinion, to destroy them with the, the spike trap. Because, uh, the, just because I said so. I don't need to justify my decisions, okay? I'm, I'm trying to build here. And you're ruining my immersion and my focus. And, and my elbow is getting so sore. <sighs> Why is it sore? I don't know. Anyway, put the mat on this, which will allow you to sink everything down, uh, which is what's going to keep the hinge and the spikes from showing through the floor. And that's the concept, okay? But what I end up doing is actually flipping it around the other way so that the hinge is behind it. I also needed to burn this wall because it's gonna stick out the back. And I also moved everything over uh, so that I could put it through the full wall instead of through the divider where the two walls meet because that wasn't gonna work. So I kind of rearranged the stuff in the kitchen here once I realized what I was gonna have to do with it. Uh, so I put it in that corner and I did end up putting the hinge in the back, but first I'll show you why. Also, if you can't activate this through the floor and it's a mesh floor, you can just hook a wire up to it with a generator and that'll activate it so that it'll disappear it. 
And then this gets rid of the collision so that, like, if you just burn it, it'll still have collision there. This gets rid of the collision because the broken item isn't those things. It's the spike board trap. But as you can see, the hinge is getting in the way. So I thought, let's flip it around. Let's turn it around like I always wish I could with my life. And uh, maybe it'll work out better. So then I came down here on those magical stairs, which are holding the whole structure up. And then I just took it and pushed it up against the spikes and shoved it in there. And then uh, just it's a matter of repairing, seeing where it lines up, destroying it, and then doing it again. Obviously, you don't need to do this if this build is already, you know, way too complicated and, you know, understandably stupid to do this glitch. It's not a glitch. It's a, it's a special trick uh, because... Like, there's, it does, it, I don't know if it's worth it. Like, you guys can let me know in the comments if that's worth it. Um, you can also uh, let me know in the comments if I'm worth it. And also, that wasn't a cry for help. Uh, I'm perfectly fine, and I have really good and strong self-esteem. Uh, it was just like a joke, because I, I was just, you know, making conversation as I play the film, you know? Because some stuff is best if you just look at it and see it happening. And I even have some lovely people that remind me how often they like to mute the videos as well so they don't throw up in their mouths. I don't really care if they throw up and vomit. Uh, I know that there are, like, you can get Epicac and you have to pay for that. But watching my videos is free. This is a simple merge that everyone's done. But I wanted to show it because the video was so short. I thought I should add some to it, you know, because I was like, well... I don't know if that's going to be long enough. Then I logged in after the update. And according to Bethesda in the patch notes, in order to uh, patch out legacy weapons, they had to, of course, move my merged items and my safe just a hair, just so I would have to redo the entire thing. And luckily, I wanted to butt fucking do that. So I went ahead and did that all over again. And uh, that really filled me with joy. And we moving up, like, if we're going to move upstairs and build the junky area now, uh, you may notice that you can't place a goddamn thing down. And that's because uh, Bethesda really doesn't like you very much, uh, but we're used to that. So just take a tiny carpet and just spam click and move it around. And eventually, I swear, it will place somewhere. And once that's there, you can take a bigger carpet and you can place it down on top of that small carpet, which will give you... A platform to work on and you can kind of branch over across this way with the carpets and fill it up with shit uh, this place is mostly just junking and then also I had a massive case of ADHD that's why there's a cabin here don't worry uh, so what happened was there's a really cool burn texture when this is broken and uh, when I first saw it I didn't know how to build inside destroyed structures and now I do uh, so I want to add this to the junkiness up above. Now, I've already covered this at length in another video, so I'm going to link it right here. But I'm also going to quickly try to go over what's going on. If you don't want to go watch that video, I'll try to cover it here. But it will be rushed, so you go look at that other video if you want to, if you need more. But I'm, I'm going into camera mode first to uh, free cam mode to see that it's lined up. Now, this is the explanation. You can't place anything on a destroyed structure. It won't let you. Um, and you cannot place something in the structure and then destroy it. Because as shown with the spike board trap, if an item is broken, anything that's built on top of that just goes into the void. It's gone. It's disappeared or whatever you want to call it. It's gone. So that's not the method for building inside is something like this. If you were to make a floor of carpets, the same thing would happen. It would all disappear. But there are a certain amount of items in the game that float for no reason. And the cabinet, the filing cabinet is one, the console is one, uh, the avocado sectionals, the other sectionals as well, is one uh, of those items as well. Uh, but because they float, uh, you can burn it the thing they're sitting on and they'll still be there and uh, this might not seem very helpful to you because they're not just going to cover this in filing cabinets uh, but it actually is because we can drop merge so what we're going to do is we're going to take 
uh, a rug and put it on a filing cabinet and then merge it down. But to get the rug on the little filing cabinet, I'm gonna make a platform of filing cabinets, which you probably don't need to go this extra. You could probably make like, like three or four and it would sit on them fine. Uh, but then once you place it down, just move them around until you find the filing cabinet that is supporting it. And this is my little toolbox here that I'm working with. Uh, and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, place it on a pressure plate that's been, that has the button pushed down and just place it over and over again to get that carpet to uh, go all the way down and, and go all the way until the carpet is actually lower than the filing cabinet itself. And by the way, if you already know how to do all this, uh, there will be timestamps. You can skip ahead uh, so you don't have to throw up. I should have said that sooner, um, but I have ADHD. And so then when you place this in here, uh, I'll just place it down to test it to show when it's burned, the filing cabinet will still be there. And of course, that means the carpet, which is technically on top of the filing cabinet, will also still be there. Of course, it's in a stupid place. It's in, it's in the middle of logs. So we're going to move that so it's not stupid looking and intersecting. Maybe I'll put it back in this gap back here. But what the story is, is there's a very nice uh, little house beneath you know uh the structure it's like a little vault a secret vault that people are not going to be able to really see that you can get in and above it someone else came along unknowingly and built like just lived here they're just a junker that lives here so i made a platform of rugs and placed that back in there and now that i've destroyed it there's a platform of rugs down here now i can place other things down on this item and it will let me so I can place for example a bed but I'll just fill this up with like debris and rad emitters and uh, not rad emitters uh, rad barrels and things like that and it's gonna be uh, really good and junky looking um, but yeah that's something I really didn't need to add to the build it's a massive thing but over here I'm gonna show I also made some junk walls on the roof and so I just took these fences. If you place them down uh, in a certain angle, you can just click twice and they'll just stack or whatever. And then I have taken the responders scrap wall and I use the same method to make a face-to-face -face blueprint uh, so that I don't have the stupid little painting on it. And then I went around and placed these down as kind of this really junky, scrappy looking wall. Which I think uh, actually turned out really uh, nice looking, really junky looking. I've always wanted to use these scrap walls, but they have the stupid responders on them. So this allows me to do that. It, I mean, it uses twice the budget, but I don't mind one butt fucking bit. Um, so this is uh, fun, but most of the details of this build I'll show in the walkthrough at the end because it's just decoration that brings it out. So here it is, uh, the finished product, and free cam mode does allow me to get a much better view aerially of the build without having to jump around like a moron in a jetpack. Uh, but as you can see, it's very scrappy and junky, and the person who lived here who lives on the top doesn't know about the really nice house that's beneath him and the people that come by your camp aren't going to know that either it's very unlikely that they're going to find the way in as i'll show uh, but as you can see there's a settlement on the roof and a pile of junk around it and i had so much fun decorating this because i got to decorate like a really nice modern design and I also got to do a scrappy ass build as well, all in one. It's the it's the two in one special. Uh, but what, what's going on? We, okay, we're looking in here first. Let's one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So in here is where you can go to get in out of the rain, I guess. Um, this camp does have all the weapons and uh, all the workbenches that you would want, and. Uh, there's like a sleeping bag in here in case you need to get in out of the rain. Um, and 
there's I put this backwards because I think it's ugly and I wish they give us skins that were immersive uh, but I think it's more important that we don't have floating doors because that would ruin uh, my immersion because this place spawns in natural junk it's also really nicely cluttered already and like the blowtorch and stuff like that and uh, there's stuff that spawns on this as well as back here there's uh, there's uh, like stuff that I oh I actually need this duct tape so bad um, I'm always out of adhesive and uh, in fact I'm gonna take that right now uh, that's really important <clears throat> So what I told you earlier was that I took a little conduit and I drop merged the alien stasis onto that. And that's actually off to the left, which a lot of people are not going to notice when they come back here. Because they're just going to be looking maybe at the vendor, maybe they're going to leave. But there's all this junk. This chair to get out is with these chairs, so it's kind of innocuous, if you will. But right here, the alien stasis chamber looks like a hubcap or something, and it's right next to the conduit so you can't see any of that. I drop merge this table onto this little uh, light so that it looks like a piece of board is on the floor and uh, that place is junky um, but it's very junky out here as well. Um, these I got this idea from Nuka Violet. I'll link her channel in the description as well you should check her out. She's awesome. She actually said uh, that she got when she did that she asked if I had done it before because it sounded like something that I would do. And I think she meant because uh, I live in a scrap heap and I'm a, a dumpster fire of a human being and everything is just a pile of shit around here. Uh, and that's fair enough. You should see my bedroom, please don't. And then um, I put all this stuff. Oh, the broken chicken coop. Does that not look so good? Look at that, piles of wood. If I could build more than one, there would these would be all over the place. I can't even imagine. Also, there's fire. Everything's... I don't... This is just a pile of shit. How do you... How do you narrate that? It's just... I put shit in here, and I set it on fire. It's kind of like the entire YouTube channel that we've got going on here. Uh, just... Uh-oh. What did you do? You uploaded that? Oh, my God. I'm doing my best. Really am. Probably not. Could probably improve. But when you can improve yourself, or watch TV, you know what we're going to choose to do around here. And then we have back here, um, I was able to sink down a bunch of stuff so it wasn't floating. That's really important. P like, focus on those details because they will make a huge difference in how immersive your build is. Um, the nice thing is the dirt on the wall actually applies itself to the posters I stick on it. So those look extra dirty. And uh, I could hide the scrap box in a pile of junk and get rid of that stuff I looted earlier. Um, and then this is that freight wagon. Uh, thank you for telling me, game. And you just break it, and it looks like that. It's one of the best uh, broken things in the game, except for the whole game. And then this is the um, one of those fire things. I just dropped merged it down into the stove, so it looks like we got a little uh, you know, gas fire problem thing. I don't know. Back here, the two cars. I dropped merged that onto one of those little... Uh, wine lantern candle thingies so that it's sunk down into the ground and then this one is drop merged onto this candle here and so having these back here adds this kind of a dump i put a fire in that so that there's smoke one violent night <laughs> sounds like i'm not gonna make a joke like that so over here of course that this tire swing tree i think it really goes in with the vibe of the place more junk over here. Um, I locked that door so people aren't opening it like buffoons. Uh, stuff I actually need, stuff I don't need. I put bushes around here, but I also tried to keep the natural bushes as much as possible. And then up here, I made a living quarters for the guy who lives above my head. And he doesn't know I live down there. Uh, he's doing his best, uh, but you can see that he never was in shop class um, but he really is he's trying to make up for lost time i put this mattress up on those boxes because if you put them around on the ground that texture is on the mattress and it just looks like vomit and you can't even see the mattress anymore it's so it's not too not super good and then uh junky stuff junky junk that's about it i'm in my nice coat uh because 
it's time to go downstairs into my actual house. Can we do that now? Okay, let's go. This is uh, the fun part, is that no one is going to see this. No one is going to look at that. And they might see it. They might see it. And if they do, they're going to end up in your shower. Uh, and that's when you come out of this place. And you'll be in the bathroom. Which is, um, that's where you uh, poop and pee and stuff like that. If you don't know, um, uh, you can just Google that if you're not sure. But I try to keep it kind of... Uh, you know just kind of sleek and clean kind of simple uh when i i built this part of the build first so i could use as much budget as i wanted and then i would know how much junk to put upstairs but there's like a really nice view out that way of the underside of the map a lot of you guys have to look at that anyway when you spawn in somewhere and start falling so i thought it would be nice to just have a nice view of it all the time over here we have the kitchen and it just so happens that that one and a quarter wall width is the perfect amount for what I wanted to do in here. I didn't plan that, it just worked out. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got this merge that we did, and we've got, I put a light under the chair on the roof to get out, to kind of mask it. And uh, over here I put these two things together for a toaster. Um, I've seen people use one as a toaster, but I feel like two together actually looks more like a toaster. Uh, so I did that. Then this merge, which is, that's really fancy. No one's ever done that before in the history of the United States of America or the world. I can't even begin to explain how original that idea was. Oh my god. And of course the, the poster moved during the update as well. That that I, I didn't notice until just now. Uh oh. Okay. So um yeah, and there's where I did that blueprint of the backwards thingy. Um and I forgot to mention those metal things upstairs that I said Nuka Viola gave me the idea for. I also did that blueprint for to do that as well. Uh, we also have those things holding up the TV. I thought that was a nice little touch. Uh, it's the packages from the Kwanzaa bundle in the Atom Shop, which I think is one of the best, uh, best bundles they've added in a while. Uh, back here we have, this is actually a wall sconce, but you're able to shove it down into things sometimes, which I was able to do to make a little nice candle. I love the glow on that candle, how it flickers. And then over here we have the common L, that's something that I have all the time, but in this case, it's kind of mem mem memorable. That what's the word? Uh, as you can see, that um, was another one. And uh, then, when you want to leave, you come over here, and you can activate the chair uh, and try not to turn the light on because it's a gaudy white light that washes out the light of the sun. And then people get mad because the sun is supposed to be the brightest one, and instead, your stupid kitchen light is. But that's pretty well hidden in my opinion. You could probably even hide it more if you wanted um, and put some stuff on top of it so that it was still accessible. There's a little bit more merges in here going on, but I've kept you guys long enough, I think. This was a huge build. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys think of it. Um, and uh, thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. Uh, it really helps the channel out, and it makes me feel like a little bit better about myself. Not that much, but ever so slightly. And uh, I'm really thirsty for... Uh, why did I use that emote? I have to think of something that I can eat. Uh, I don't know. Forget it. Um, thank you so much to my patrons and channel members for your support. Uh, if you wanted to uh, be involved in the uh, Patreon edge, that's not a word. The link for that is in the description. And I also stream on Twitch. And I've been doing a um, pacifist playthrough on 76 lately. Uh, the link is also in the description. Join my Discord. I don't know. There's too many things to say. I'll see you guys in the next video.